In part 1, we built a Power Automate flow that categorizes emails using AI Builder. Today, I'll show you how to take it even further by automatically organizing emails into folders while you sleep. This runs every night and organizes everything automatically without any manual work from you. By the end of this video, you will have a complete hands-free email organization system that keeps your inbox clean and organized. If you haven't watched part 1, here's what we built in that video. We created a custom AI prompt in the Power Automate AI Hub. This smart prompt takes three pieces of information from each email. The subject line, the email body, and the sender. Then based on all that content, it automatically classifies emails into business categories like invoices, customer inquiries, projects, and more. The useful part is that it provides the output in a clean JSON structure, which means Power Automate can easily understand and use the results in our workflows. The prompt itself is pretty straightforward and flexible. You can customize it based on your specific needs and add as many categories as you want for your business. The part 1 link is in the video description, and we are going to use that same AI builder prompt for today's workflow. First, we need to create the folders in Outlook, where our emails will be organized. I have already created 7 folders under my inbox. You have flexibility here. You can create the folders directly under inbox like I did or you can create them outside inbox. You could even create a parent folder called AI Organized and then create all your category folders inside that. The folder structure is completely up to you and your preferences. To keep things simple for this tutorial, I have added these 7 folders under the inbox folder. I am showing this on the Outlook web version but you can do exactly the same thing on the Outlook desktop application as well. Now we need to create our Power Automate flow that will handle the organizing. Here I am in the Power Automate dashboard. I'll go to Create menu and select Scheduled Cloud Flow because this flow needs to run automatically every night to organize the day's email into the correct folders. I'll name this flow Outlook Email Organizer so it's easy to identify later. I want to start it today. I'll keep the default start time here. I want it to repeat every day, so I'll select day from the frequency list. We can change these options later in the flow if needed. Now I'll click this create button. Here is our trigger and you can see the interval settings. You can change the frequency to week if you prefer or choose any other frequency that works for your email habits. For the time zone, I'll select my local time zone. Now we need to select when we want the automation to run. I want it to run at 23 hours, which is 11 pm. And for the minutes, I'll enter 50. This means at 11.50, just before the end of each day, it will organize all the emails from that day. You can set these conditions to whenever works best for your schedule. I'll click the plus icon to add our next action. I'll search for Get Emails. Under Office 365 Outlook, I'll select Get Emails V3. This action will read all the emails we want to organize, either for the day or for the week, depending on the conditions we set. Here we need to select which Outlook folder we want to organize emails from. In Outlook, by default, all emails stay in the inbox folder unless you have created specific rules to move them elsewhere. I'll keep the default folder as Inbox here. If you want to organize emails from a different folder, you can click this folder icon and select whichever folder you prefer. I don't want to fetch only 100 emails, so I'll set this option to No. I want to fetch only emails that have already been read, so I need to create a filter for that. I'll click this Advanced Parameters and select Search Query. In this query field, I'll add two search conditions. First. Received colon today. This will retrieve only the emails that came in on that specific day. Then after a space, I'll add is read colon true. This will retrieve only emails that have already been read. I'm doing this because I want to check and read my emails first before the system organizes them into folders. 
Since this flow will move emails from the inbox to our organized folders, I want to make sure I have seen them first. This condition is completely optional. It's up to you whether you want this or if you prefer to organize all emails automatically. I don't need email attachments for this process so I'll keep the include attachment option as no. For the top value, I'll add 50. This tells the action how many emails to get from Outlook in one run. If you typically receive more than 50 emails per day, you can increase this number accordingly. Now we need a loop that will send each email to our AI model one by one for analysis. I'll add the next action and search for apply to each. I'll select this apply to each action. For the input of this action, I'll select this option enter the data from previous step. And from the get emails v3 action, I'll select body slash value. This means the loop will process each email individually. Inside the loop, we need two actions. First, I'll add this run a prompt action under AI capabilities. This action will call the AI model we created in part one to analyze each email and determine which category it belongs to. Here for the prompt, I'll select Microsoft Outlook email classifier. This prompt needs three pieces of information to analyze emails properly. The subject, the body and the sender. We define these requirements when we build the prompt in part one. For the subject input, I'll select this option enter the data from previous step and from get emails v3 action, I'll choose subject. For the body, I'll select this dynamic option and select this body from this get emails v3 action. For the sender, I'll select this option and send this from value from this action. Now our AI has all the information it needs to categorize each email. The final action in our loop will actually move the emails to the correct folders. I'll search for move email. Here is the move email v2 action under Office 365 Outlook. This action moves emails to whichever folder we specify based on what the AI determined. First, we need the message ID so the system knows which specific email to move. I'll select this option enter the data from previous step and click the see more link to view all available values from the get emails v3 action. Then I'll scroll down to find message ID. Here is message ID. Now for the folder destination. This is where we tell it which folder each email should go. In Outlook, I created all my folders under the inbox folder. So I need to specify the path correctly. I'll type inbox first, then add a forward slash. Then I'll select this option, enter the data from previous step. And from the run a prompt action, I'll select category. This works perfectly because the category names that come from AI prompt which matches exactly with the folder names I created in Outlook. So when the AI says an email is invoices, it goes to the invoice folder. When it says customer, it goes to the customer folder and so on. Our flow is ready. I'll save it first. This flow will automatically run at 11.50 pm every day as we specified in the recurrence trigger. But let's test it now to see how it works. I'll run the flow manually so we can watch it work. Let me show you the flow and outlook side by side so you can see what happens. I'll click this test button. I'll hit the run flow button and done. The flow is processing. You can see we have some unread emails here but remember the flow should only move emails that have been read and are from today's date. The run is completed. Looking at the folders now, I can see the emails have been moved to the correct locations. Since we added category tags in part 1, I can easily tell that the emails went to the right folders. Notice it left the unread emails in the inbox and it also left emails that were not from today, exactly as we programmed it to do. We have successfully created an email organization flow that uses AI Builder to sort our emails automatically. You can always modify the AI instructions to add or remove categories or add different conditions based on your changing needs.
if you ever want to pause the email organizer, you can simply turn it off and you can turn it back on whenever you are ready. Make sure to check out part 1 where I explained how to create the AI instructions and how to design the flow that adds these colorful category tags to the emails. If you want all the resources, the AI instructions, the complete Power Automate flow templates, hit the join button. I have made all this available exclusively for channel members. Please hit the like button if this helped organize your emails in Outlook and leave your feedback in the comments below. Thank you for watching.